Welcome to or welcome back to change. This is going to be the whole, hey, I was avoiding for the longest time, but I'll just upload it. I'll just do it. So bear in mind, this is going to be a short episode. Um, there's a few things I want to get out of the way. One is there's a lot of people apparently still complaining. I'm sure I'll have to repeat this every episode from now on. That if you want to play this version of the game, you can't get it on Steam and you have to support Snow Dragon on their Patreon, which is in the description down below for those that want to play, you know, the most recent version of the game. Secondly, people don't have to tell me when the game's up when the game is updated because it's it's very obvious I'm a Patreon of the developer, so if there's gonna be an update, I'm hyper aware of when an update is, so please for the for the love of God, please don't stop telling me if there's an update to Changed. You'd have to think, the person who plays Changed or had played Changed the most is always aware there's an update. Like, you can't be a patron and a supporter of a developer of a game and then expect them to not be aware when the game updates. I'm always up to date. So please, stop telling me if the game is updated. I am aware. Holy crap, there's just so many people being like, Nico, do you know the game is updated? Yeah! <laughs> well, who do you think I am? But yeah, with that rant out of the way, support the developer with Patreon down in the description below. There's gonna be a tiny update. I'm wearing a beanie as well. So we're gonna get the last remaining transfers that exist, even though it's just gonna be like 10-15 minutes of content, unless there's a lot of reading, but we're gonna get them. I think I already got this one. We're just gonna get all the ones that are in this area. Cause I'm ba I basically know them all. I know them all just by uh, not be not people telling me about them. But I'm just was aware about them, but they just weren't in my last let's play. Yeah. The other thing is I got uh, a lot of the missing transfers for the next probably in a year from now when I do the all transfers as of June or July 2022. Oh boy, I can't wait for that video. And then, but I have most of it already compiled. All the missing ones, like the one in the mirror. Wait, let me see if I can show. Back here? There's no point. Okay, well, um, I'll do it after I get the next transfer. We already did... Let's see. We did the peaches. And I guess the only thing I'm missing, I think, is either the... I can't... I know I didn't get the ones on the left because they're the bunny. And it'll be the juicy, juicy thumbnail that I've already made. I haven't even recorded, but I already have the image and thumbnail made. This one, I can't remember if I did or not. I'm pretty sure I did, so... I'll double check just to make sure. But I'm pretty sure I did that one. The one I'm missing is this. Want to peek through the crack in the door? Yes. It's strange that there's just no audio, too. I might just add audio just for the sake of it. Look again! It's where we fell down. Hmm, I was just curious slime. You're supposed to look one more time, but I'm kind of curious. What if I just walk in it? No? Okay. Well, let's look through the crack again. And then we get slime monster. Here's a transfer I think I got, but just didn't record it because I wasn't recording at the time and, you know, not enough updates. It's like a... I don't know. I'm not sure. It, it's, it makes me think of a protogen in a way. It's like a slime alien and hypnotic, clearly. It uses hypnotism with flashing lights. But also makes me think of protogens. But, oh, I don't know. It's like alien. A symbiote? Protogen, maybe? Maybe the best way to explain what this thing looks like? Then he tries to fight the hypnotism. He's like, eh. No. He tries. And you can input the sonic meme of, It's no use! But I do, I, I would say that the transfer looks weird. Because you're not individual, you just... Yeah. It, it gets weird. I don't know. Little overkill. And, and then... Yeah, and then you get assimilated. 
It, it, it just looks weird. I don't know, man. It looks weird. Like, you're a body, a small body within a larger body, but your body's still sort of there. You're not 100% in it. It's just like an amalgamation. You got a head sticking out of his, I don't know, his chest plate cavity. I don't know. So it's weird looking. But yeah, that's that. Um, now what I was going to say is right here, yeah. If this is appropriate, the there's apparently three... And I'm not going to show them, I'll save them for basically the next year's thing. But it's like, when you get to this point, apparently, what I hadn't known before, was that to get to this mirror, what was it? Within like 1,500 steps or something, if you get to this point of the game within 1,500 steps, you get a different transfer when you run through this gas. But if it's over 1,500 to 2,500 steps to get to this point, then it's a different one. And then over 3,000, it's like a different one. It's probably not the and it's not the correct numbers, but it I, I got all the transfers now. And I'm just gonna be using them in the next years, all transfers as of because I got all the transfers, all the ones that I was missing. I went through the game, played it thoroughly, got all the missing transfers, all the fucking like 200 plus of them, and I got them all. So. Yeah, I mean, it just means, hey, I've got all of them. I have nothing missing now. So, let's try to keep that up. Now we'll go for more transfers, though. All right, well, I looked at my old episode of the, the last one when I put, was in this area and I got the big titty blue, blue wolf thing over there. I don't think I actually recorded myself getting this monster here. I remember getting it. I swear to God, I did, but I, just in case it is in the last episode, because I, I just watched it and I didn't see it, we're, we're gonna get it, just in case. I swear to God, I did it, though. It's so strange, because I swear I recorded it. Unless it was in a previous episode that I just didn't watch. Who knows? But here it is, anyways. Just in case. So what happens when you, obviously, suntan for too long. You change into a furry, so be careful. You either sunbathe for too long and you turn orange. You, you, turn, you turn into orange man, or you turn into orange furry. You don't know. All right, for the best transfers, we gotta go for the bunny. Hell yeah, bunny. There's no sexy kobolds yet, but bunny, the bunny. And also this crystal. Fresh air blows from the vents. Oh, there we go. A crystal clutter, cl a crystal cluster, very coincidentally fell off at this very moment, hitting your head with nearly perfect timing. Your messy, fluffy hair kept it from hurting you. This bunch of fragile and light crystals shatters on your head, and the pieces scatter on the floor one by one. Dim little fragments stick to your hair, cut your pants. Of course they cut my pants. Okay. Then scatter around your feet. Not my pants. The first thing you feel is not pain on your head, but a strange sensation on your back and tailbone. Your skin begins to harden. The fragments on your head aren't fragments at all. You try to swap them off, but these things are already fixed on your skull as if they had been there originally. Patterns emerge on your increasingly smooth skin. Those poor, struggling pants of yours. <laughs> stuffed with a foreign object. It's not a bulgy wulgy. Emit one last snapping sound. <laughs> Completely disoriented, you hold onto your face. The crystals extend towards the back of your head. Their appearance now already fully transformed into that of the creature's horns. A pair of wings already silently ready to fly, covered with an extraordinary patterns. That is a newborn pair of wings. And this pair of wings belongs to Norborn Dragon. Hmm. Huh. I don't even remember seeing that in the images. But, oh well. Alright, so the remaining ones we have to get is simply the bunnies. There's two bunnies. I had to pronounce it like bunnies. Not bunny, bunny. 
with sensual connotation. And to get the button there. Is it this? I'm trying to remember. Button there. Or do I have to leave and come back? I think it's leave and come back. Because now there's this new room. It is awesome, too. Actually, I, I think I have to try to go back before things bad happen. This is a disinfection room full of garbage. Obviously, some guys live in these, this outer mess. You still need to go through the disinfection process just like last time. You can only pray that nothing will happen while you're trapped in here, although that is most improbable. Oh, no. At least we get a new save file. 46. Can I leave? Oh, no! I, I missed out on the buttons. All right, we're gonna have to get the bunnies first and then go through this. I think it's, yeah, stepping on this to piss off the bunnies. Oh, there's the bunny. Bunny. It's a bunny just comes out of the vent. Awkwardly jumps into your chest and bunny. I don't know. Bunnies are on my list of, like, just look at that booty, Jesus. The bunny's just looking at you like, damn, look at that booty! <laughs> I don't know why Lin has such a big, dummy, thick butt, but you know. Uh, you get the male bunny. I'm presuming this is the male bunny. Because there's a subtle bulge under their arms. So, I mean, I'm going to take that hint. But we can become a female bunny. For those that want the female bunny, we're going to get the female bunny. Mmm, bunny. Let's go get the female bunny. To do that, you need to do this. Piss off the bunnies. And then stay in the center. You need to have the morph. The fusion of two bunnies. And then the second bunny, which, which provides lumps, or boobies, boobies, boobas. Titty bunny. We always need the titty bunny. There you go. We got the titty bunny. We're gonna have a very nice uh, thumbnail because of these images. Just a heads up. The other fun thing, at the very least, let's see, there, there's nothing I'm missing, bunny. It's just, yeah, it was just the two. Um, the interesting, I, at least, thing I would find is this next transfer was, I guess, one you could say that I helped. Uh, what would be the word I use? I suggested the Dragon Snow in, in his Patreon to put a raccoon in the game because there isn't really any raccoons, but raccoons, pretty notorious animal in the West. And Dragonstow said that he had thought that red pandas and raccoons were the same species. And I told him on that having a raccoon transfer would be pretty cool. And, this, and then he made this room full of trash for the raccoon. And, I mean, that's kind of spoilers, but there's going to be a raccoon. And I can say I helped. I helped. Because I told him that raccoons exist and a raccoon would be cute. And he, you just, you gotta see it. It's, it's, it's the best thing ever. Um, hang on. Warning. After pressing, a one-minute disinfection process will take place. The ventilation duct will be open during the disinfection process. Are you positive that you wish to commence? No, no. The next tra uh, transfer, spoiler warning, is a raccoon. But I'm happy because I told him about it. We're gonna have to... I mean, we're not gonna make it. And I think we'd be able to get another transfer if we exit the room with this on our head again. I think? Maybe? Or just doesn't exist yet, but it will in the future, maybe? Can't be placed here. You have to survive the raccoons, but it's just... The best thing, besides me just telling them that raccoons exist and there should be a raccoon transfer and then Dragon Snow put it in the game, but it's just... What he did to the process of raccoons, you gotta see it. It's the hilarious, the most hilarious thing for those that have never seen it. But, I don't know, we'll just... We'll just go with something basic. I might screw up, but I do want to get transferred for obvious reasons. So let's do this. There, look at him go. You see, he rolls. Oh, God. He's too fast. All right. 
He rolls! Like in some of the YouTube videos you've seen. Where's his eyes? Oh no, he's got no eyes though. Now all we're missing though is an opossum, so maybe we should tell Dragon Snow about opossums and the glory of opossums. They hiss and snarl, but they are friendly. And they eat trash too. Alright, but we're going to want to survive. Let's just cut it off. I want to survive, you know? I push the button. That one will get cancelled, and then we need to get out without... Because I don't know if there's two raccoons. I don't think there's a transfer for two raccoons. I'm looking at the total images, and so far it's just one raccoon. Let's see. Let's try to survive. Yeah, that's right. They, they spin around everywhere. They go crazy. This infection process has been completed. But how do I get out of here now? Oh no. So I have to try to maybe lure them over here? Uh, come on. I need... Hmm. If I could trap them here. Mm -hmm. Come on. If I could get this... Mm -hmm. I don't think you can go lower than that then. Alright. So, let's see. Run! With a hat on. Something's very wrong with the air here. It smells weird and makes you uncomfortable. You're a little dizzy. I said that I... I said that I haven't finished making this room yet. Yeah, no. You do know what not finished means, isn't that right? It means precisely that this place still... Yeah, still completely like it was originally, and the original changed. You understand, right? There will be bugs. Do you really understand? You have been warned! If bugs appear past this point, that's not on me. If bugs appear past this point, that's really not on me. If bugs appear past this point, that's really, really not on me. Nor is it on me, damn it. So that, listen to the developer, it's not ready. So be it. It's not ready! Well, oh, the hat disappeared. I don't know, I'll just go through with it anyways, just out of curiosity. There's nothing else though, I mean, literally I'm looking at like the... the pictures on the folder, there's nothing there. Like, no transfers I'm missing. There's no images in the folder, because I, it's not encrypted or anything. But there's no images that would spoil... Huh. Huh. I don't remember this image. This would have been new, at least. This is different. I don't know what it means. We just gotta try to avoid being transferred and see if there's anything we can visibly see. Oh, come on! Nah. There'd be nothing here. I absolutely know that there's no transfers here. Because the folder that is not encrypted that I can look at just to make sure, you know, do I have everything? Did I miss anything? Where is it? I can look at the folder and basically be like, okay, I missed, you know, number 283, basically. But when I look at the folder, there is nothing. There's the one raccoon. There is none when both raccoons touch you, or else it'd be in this folder. So, I don't need to have people, you know, leaving comments that I know would happen of, Nico, but you didn't try having both raccoons touch you at the same time! It's because I know there's no existing file that proves that there's a transfer. There's only one transfer, and it shows one image, which is the one raccoon we already seen. So that literally is all there is to this content. And no matter how many times now the developer says, the demo is done, there's no more content, Stop right now. I'll still have people saying, Nico, please play Changed. There's no more. Stop making me suffer, please. There's there's no more. That's it. That's literally it. We got what? Uh, the tanning orange wolf. That I swear I did before, but I can't remember. Maybe I put it in the all transfers and I just didn't do it in my Let's Play. 
Then we got the one where you turned into a newborn dragon. Two bunnies. The slime and the raccoon. So that's just effectively... Eh, five, six transfers. In most of my Let's Plays, normally I get around... What, like... 10, 20 plus? Like, usually I get a lot. Because usually there's a lot more content before I play, but a lot of people just constantly nag for more changed. Even though, no matter how many times I say it, I'm like, I want to wait until there's, you know, 20, play, 20 to 30 minutes of content. But the demand is so high, people either ignore that, they skim that, or they skip what I'm saying. Or they ignore what I'm saying, and they just focus on the gameplay. Or who knows, maybe they mute my videos and they're like, I don't care what Nico says, I want to see the transfers. I don't know. Because no matter how many times I tell people, please stop telling me this and that, please stop telling me that there's a changed update when I'm a Patreon to the bloody developer, I know when there's an update. <laughs> like, there's, people don't think. I don't want to sound mean, but... Some people need some thought process here where it's like, why would Nico not know there's an update? The reality is, I know every update because I pay the developer and the developer gives me content. That's how it works. That's Patreon. So... As much as I know me saying it again won't change anything and I'm still gonna get people leaving comments and it's not a troll comment But people genuinely be like Nico. Where's more change content when literally the video the last video I make tells you there's no more content And it's just me ranting at this point, but I don't know. I Hope you enjoyed the bun the thumbnail is gonna look cute. I already made it. I, I legit already made it I can show you already Actually, showing you in this video wouldn't even matter because it's in the thumbnail. There's no point in showing you. I made it like a month ago. Just by how long this update's been here, and other people have played it, and other people are trying to fit in the changed content to try to grow their channel. Eh, a tsunami of, you know, new furries and YouTubers trying to get big by playing changed. It's gonna happen. I mean, it's a trendy game. It's gonna happen. I don't know, whatever. But if you want fresh new content, it's best just to wait so you, you don't binge on it and then you have nothing. Because the developer is sick and he's needing to relax, he's needing to learn not to be such a workaholic. And I do hope the developer, if he's watching this video, which I think he sometimes does, I'm not sure how much, but I hope he just learns how to relax. Be more like me, like I took... what was it? I took Saturday, this last Saturday, completely off. All I did was sit on my ass, I ordered sushi, and I read the manga to you, Immortal, or um, Fushimoto. It's like a new anime that's out where it's like about a kid who's immortal, and he, you know, can transform into anyone who's died, or anyone he's been in contact with, basically. For those that know what I'm talking about, it's Fushimoto something, ah? Or it's, a manga-wise, it's to you, comma, immortal. I, I read basically the entire manga in all of Saturday while relaxing, listening to music. It's just to know how to relax, to not burn yourself out and work constantly, or when you're not think when you're not working, you think of work. When you get home to relax, if you work part time or full time, you go home and the first thing you do is think about work, or stress about work, or stress about the next day, or stress about the things you got to do the next day. That burns out humans. For me, I don't have that problem. A lot of YouTubers burn out by playing games they don't like, or playing games and not relaxing, or constantly thinking about YouTube and thinking about YouTube every day. You gotta learn from me, basically, is all I'm saying. Learn just to don't care, just relax, take a break. I'm drinking a coffee here, I got my coffee, I'm relaxing. I watch anime when I'm editing videos and I have something to look forward to all the time. I'm content. I'm happy. I'd be fine if I could do YouTube up until I'm like 60 years old and I'm an old man. Right now I look like I'm in my 20s, but I'm actually like gonna be 33 years old in October. Yeah, I'm old, but I sound young and I look young, so whatever, man. I You gotta live stress-free because the more you stress, let this be at least one moral of the day before I end this video, and I'm not talking just to extend the video, but I genuinely want people to understand, because since this video gets a lot of views, I'll leave this rant because I know more people will hear it, because I think it's important. The more you stress about the little things in life or the big things in life, the more stress is sort of like a cigarette. There's an old saying that when you smoke a cigarette, it shaves a day off your life. Think of that in the same way as stress, right? If you stress every single day, think of stressing a lot each day is removing one day of your life. 
or maybe removing multiple days of your life each time you heavily stress about something. You're shaving your life away stressing over things when you could be doing the opposite, and I know it's not easy. Sometimes it's very hard to forget the stresses. Or, you know, your brain is doing it against your will, your brain is being an asshole. The brain is a douchebag, we, I know that. But it's best to find an outlet for that, like maybe a punching bag, maybe write a journal. Just, you gotta find ways to relax and think about other things, distract yourself, play video games, some hobby to do on the sides to keep your mind busy. But that's what, at least what I want to convey, is I want people to be happier. The reasoning I d took education before I did YouTube, I wanted to be a psychologist. I did college for two years and university for two years where I was doing... Um, my university program was P&B, or Psychology, Neuroscience, and Behaviors. I was going to become a counseling therapist. The reasoning was because I want, I saw, before all the political divide and nonsense going on in this world, I saw that there was a lot of people who were becoming more mentally ill, more insecure, or more anxious, more depression, more issues in mental health were coming up. And I wanted to be there to help before everything is sort of just shit hits the fan. But I got stressed out from university and I was starting to get tired of essays, tired of, you know, studying every single day, trying to be, you know, a bookworm. I was never book smart. I was never educationally smart. I was instinctive smart. I was hands-on learning smart. I was never book smart. So I was always forcing myself to go to university and study more than I really wanted to. It was not what I liked, but I wanted the end result to be me being a therapist so I could help people. At the end game, me becoming a YouTuber, similar to how Markiplier was studying engineering, but then dropped it out. I think he finished it though. I think he finished. I can't remember if he dropped out or if he finished it or dropped out, but then did YouTube and finished his education. I can't remember, but YouTube having a platform to speak means you can still help people even if you're not an authentic or official psychologist. I can entertain people, you can give words of wisdom. I just don't like people obviously that mislead people and try to spread partisan opinionated nonsense because all I'm trying to say is people need to learn how to relax, find hobbies that you have an interest in because I genuinely want I genuinely want people to live happier lives, be less loathsome, bitter, or toxic towards each other. Toxicity, both on the internet and the real world, are increasing, as much as we may not want to admit it. Um, and as much as I know I myself can be an asshole to certain people, because you gotta stand your ground sometimes. Or you gotta have your opinions and not feel afraid of being the black duck sort of thing. You have to know how to stand your ground, and you have to know how to relax and not let people drag you down in the mud. I want people to genuinely be happy in life. So that's where I'm at least hoping where my videos help at the very least. Funny commentary where it's hit or miss or me just saying something stupid, even if it's at the cost of my own dignity, I don't care. I want people to be happy. I don't know. That's, that's basically it. I don't know. So just live stress-free because being stressed you gotta try to find, get away, get rid of that. And the same with the, de the developer to this game. They're stressed out. They need to learn over time as they get older to be less stressful. For me, I don't stress about anything. Could I be making more money if I had a part-time job? Yeah. I don't drive a car. I just live in a tiny, cheap apartment that's dirty, that's from the 1950s, and I'm content with life. I don't have grandiose desires of living an extravagant lifestyle. I don't need to own some luxury car. I don't need, even if I became a huge famous YouTuber, I don't need to live in a fucking mansion in California. I don't need to own a luxurious car or Ferrari. I don't need to own anything massive. I don't need fucking Supreme merch. I don't need fucking Gucci. I don't need stupid unnecessary shit to fill in the void. I don't need to be some two-faced, disingenuous douche YouTuber. I just want to be myself. I just want to live a nice, not not quiet life, but you know, just a, a dignified, small life where I have good internet and, you know, I can help people. So, I don't know, that, that's basically it. 
and talks about good internet. Holy shit, I ordered new internet. Oh, I'm excited for that. Uh, let me just explain that too. I don't know, this is becoming a vlog at the same time, but I don't know. I banged my hand. You can basically end the video because there's no more transfers and this is just the outro of me ranting. But man, I got new internet. I'm so excited. It's going to be installed. I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded, but I'll just say it's going to be installed on Tuesday and I'm getting fiber optics. Right now, I have DSL... Uh. DSL at 50 megabit per second download speed and 10 megabit upload speed. I'm getting internet, fiber optics. That is 30 times faster, 30 times. Do you know what that speed is? 1.5 gigabits per second or 1,500 megabits per second download speed. Holy shit. And 940 megabit per second upload speed. I'll be able to download, like, Grand Theft Auto V in 30 seconds. That's an exaggeration. But I'll also be able to upload my videos so much faster, because usually my videos are like 2 to 5 gigabytes in size. So having like a almost, not, almost a gigabyte, a gigabit per second, almost one gigabit per second upload speed means I'll just like drag a five gigabit fucking video to YouTube and YouTube will just pop done. That's all I want in life. Like, damn, I don't know. And I only have to pay $75 a month for it currently. I can't complain. I'm happy in life just knowing I'll have good internet now finally. Because fiber optics wasn't in my area until recently. Mm. But anyways, hey. I hope you enjoyed this video, my rant, and I hope, again, people live stress-free. Don't worry about stupid shit happening. Ignore world stupid politics. Try to avoid being a journalist or an activist. Just live your life protecting family, being friendly to everyone, you know, having friends you can rely on, and just don't worry about world stupid shit, because the more you're going to concern yourself with activist stuff and worldwide threats and things to stress about, the more you're going to become comparable to that of a rotten apple in a bowl of fruit, where the people you're around will also become rotten. If you have a rotten fruit next to a fresh fruit in a fruit bowl, both fruits are going to get rotten. Don't be the rotten fruit in the bowl of fruit. Be a f healthy fruit and just worry about your own health and just, you know, be happy. That's all I want, okay? So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a full subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, until the next time. Mm.